Hello guys, the US jobs report and FOMC minutes will take center stage next week, but the comments from ECB President Lagarde and the RBA interest rate decision and China services PMI and inflation data will also be very important. So without further ado, let's start with the macro calendar. So on Monday, as usual, is a slow start with a holiday in the US, so the second part of the session will be additionally less volatile, since there are no other major publications that could influence the price in one way or another. During the night from Monday to Tuesday, we will get retail sales from Austria and interest rate decision from the RBA, where we expect a 50 basis point hike. And then we have services PMI from Germany, UK and Eurozone. So this will be also very important since the services are right now at the second of the economy that currently is the main driver of the economic growth. And then we have a speech from Governor Bailey from Bank of England. And uh, that will be all for Tuesday. And next on Wednesday we will get factory orders from Germany and then services PMI from the US as well as non-manufacturing PMIs and FOMC meeting minutes in the evening. On Thursday we will get ADP employment initial jobless claims, uh, all this uh, from the US of course, then IV, IV PMI from Canada and crude oil inventories. On Friday we will get unemployment rates uh, from US and Canada and most importantly NFPs. So, in the US, investors' attention will turn to non-farm payroll report, which is expected to show the American economy added 270,000 jobs in June, the least since April last year. The unemployment rate is seen steady at 3.6%, as well as the wage growth at 0.3%. FOMC meeting minutes and appearance from several Fed officials will also be keenly watched for more clues on the size of July's rate hike either 50 or 75 basis points. So basically no breaking news, but additional information about the condition and future prospects of the biggest economies like the US, for example. And if we check other data like new orders, PMI and the PMI output, then we can clearly see that the manufacturing sector is very weak. Although we can also clearly see that new orders maybe are not some super strong, but they are still at acceptable level. And the second other things I see positive, which is output. That means what is the number of goods already produced, which is increasing. And the second thing is supplier's delivery time, the gray line. You have annotation that it is inverted, which means the lower reading, the better. And as you can see, the delivery time is decreasing, which means that bottlenecks are getting smaller and smaller. Therefore, more goods can be produced to satisfy the demand which will in some part cause the inflation to decrease. But for that, we need uh, more oil and gas to be thrown to the market, of which there are no clear positive signals that the situation might improve significantly. But that is uh, as uh, for the overall picture and uh, broad perspective. Now let's check where we can speculate, because for that we don't need any breakthrough events. As for oil and uh, good data about inventories are enough, for example. So unfortunately, those uh, three previous uh, trades on Nvidia, gold and uh, silver went uh, straight to the bucket. All three had stop losses. But on EURUSD, we went back to the lower levels and still we made higher low and it looks like we stopped at these levels. So we might see the four, five and exit formation where basically we are taking fourth and fifth wave. And it looks like the fourth one is being created here. Other indicators like RSI also showed a bullish divergence here. So I'm standing firmly at my previous forecast here. So the second is a GBP JPY currency pair where we might have a short opportunity. And here is the same situation. We have potentially four or five and the exit pattern. Right now, the fourth wave is in creation. We have slightly better divergence on RSI and our target on this one should be on 156, at least if not 154. So we could move the stop at 156 if there was, if there will be no opposite signals. And okay, guys, that is all for today. Thank you for watching and goodbye.